Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial, and today we're going to be learning how to use TypeScript for game test. TypeScript can be seen as an extension to JavaScript with more ability, with more abilities, more things to work with, you know. Some of my favorite examples of this are its advanced parsing and types. If you want to have TypeScript work with JavaScript, you will need source, node modules, package.lock.json, package.json, and tsconfig.json. You don't have to know how any of this works, just as long as you have it, it will work. I will leave this pack in the description that I make today, so you can just copy all of these things and make whatever you want. Now to start, look at your scripts and look at your source. They will not look the same for the most part. Sometimes they can look the same. Anything that you make in, in JavaScript will work in TypeScript, no matter what it is. To turn TypeScript into JavaScript, which is what which is how we'll make this work, is we will go up here to terminal and oh, sure. click run build task. If if the run build task isn't shown, then in your terminal, make, I'm gonna use PowerShell. In your terminal, um, um, do npm i dash g type script. And then ts dash node. Wait for this to download, and once it does, it should show the run build task up here. Here we go. All right. Once you do that, go to terminal, run build task. We'll get two options watch and build. I recommend using watch, which is what I do for most of the time. And the way watch works is every single time you save your TypeScript file, it gets parsed into JavaScript. So if I were to just do world.events.watch and subscribe or whatever. If I just have this and I save as you can see something happened down here and if I go to JavaScript file it's right there. So, data.cancel equals true. Save it. JavaScript, same thing over here. Now, why is this so good? Well, let's take an example. Before item use, I'll subscribe, data. Whenever you're using before item use, a common thing to have is your inventory. Now to get your inventory, you have to do data dot source dot get component inventory. I messed with this a little bit earlier. I'm gonna turn that back to what it should be. Should so string right there. So inventory dot and then it's just ID. It's just ID. Why is it just ID? because whenever you get component, it will always return I entity component, even if your parameter is not what it's not entity component. Now to change this, you can just hover over it, put brackets around it, then in between these two brackets, just do as entity inventory component. And so this is its parsing. Data.source.get component inventory as the entity inventory component. So it sees this as one well, entity inventory component. So if I were to now add a dot over here, now it shows everything that entity inventory component has. If I were to go to the docs over here and look at this. You can see everything here, the same thing, which is over here. 
So let's go to, I don't know, container. No, all of these things, which you would not be able to see with JavaScript. Well, technically you would be able to see it, but it's just a lot more difficult. If you were to go to JavaScript now, as you can see, that as isn't there because JavaScript doesn't have that as. So that's one way it's really good. Let's look at another way that TypeScript can be used. Let's come over here and look at types. Oh, I love types. Types are so useful. Let's say you made a function like Hmm. What kind of function could we make? Function tell message. We well, could just use a string for that. Oh yeah. Tell message. Or just message player and then message player. We aren't exactly using types for this, but as you can see, it is erroring right here. It has the any type. As if you were to look over here, if I were to just save it, there's no error over here. It doesn't matter if it has any type or not. So what you would do, you would put a colon string. Since the message is going to be a string, and then the player is going to be of type player from using this Minecraft. So now, because we parsed it like this, we can now do player dot, and now everything from the player is here, since it's declared right here. If we were also just to call the function, say hi, and then numbers, it would error, or at least it should error. Yeah. Argument of type number is not assignable to type player. But instead, if we were to do world.events. before item use, and then message player hello data dot source then it'll work technically yeah it doesn't work because entity right here and so to fix it you can see right here it's erroring down here it's not erroring here I don't know why but there is an error and to fix that error we can use its parsing again to use data dot source as player so now it thinks that the source is a player it found zero errors now so if I were to go in game, make sure to, on the TypeScript example that I have, to game, turn your game test framework, I'm just going to add another couple of things here. I gotta have a flat world just so that way it's not a bunch of this all around. That can get quite annoying. So if you look at the JavaScript file, it does nothing. It does absolutely nothing. If I were to use an item, it does nothing. So I haven't made it do anything. So let's make it do something. Player dot run command tell raw at s raw text x message now if I use slash reload which is a which is it's not a new command but it's an updated command from 1.19 reloads all function and script files which is really useful so now if I just do slash reload now I right click it's going to message me hello hello to data.source If I were to do this normally, I didn't see it errors. Argument of type entity is not assignable to player. And there you go. Let's make a function to just run code. Alright. Let's use an error function for this. So const run something equals something an arrow something of course has any but let's input the parameters of let's say the item 
the move for use and the player. But we do not also want to add cancel. Don't want to cancel. So let's so what we can do is do the same thing as we've been doing, but with an object. It works the exact same way. We should do player is of type player and then item is of type item stack. So now if we were to do run something. Something is player an item. And so we have to do is an object. It auto corrects for us. Player which is data dot source as player. And then item is of type data dot item. And so just no player player but yeah sorry got something dot player dot run command. I'm just gonna do say and then the item I keep forgetting something dot item dot ID. Yeah, if I were to go to the JavaScript file, not there. It's not there. This is using parsing and types. This is types. And this is the parsing. You know, it gives you the autocorrect, the typings. So now hard slash reload. And right click. Me, which is the player, saying Minecraft grass. And that's TypeScript. There's a lot more things to do with TypeScript, but I can't show that all in, the, in a single video. Just note that TypeScript is it's it's just way better than JavaScript. I really recommend you start using TypeScript from now on instead of JavaScript. And yeah, that's the video. Sorry if this video was really sloppy. I am really tired right now. Can't really think straight. So yeah, see ya.